Do you know what physical security really is? Hi, I'm Jack from Region Security Guarding's YouTube channel where we make videos about security and security guards. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest security guarding news. And don't forget to give us a like if you enjoy our videos. In today's video, we will be discussing what is physical security and how you can use it to your advantage. So let's dive right in. Physical security is the physical protection for people, businesses, software, equipment, or valuables against all or any security risks. Some of these security threats or security incidents could be theft, fires, vandalism, terrorism, or even natural disasters. To understand more about what a physical security incident is, make sure to check out our other video, which we will link in the description box below. One way that we can improve physical security and stop these risks is by taking physical security measures. A physical security measure is the measures or actions that you take to help prevent security risks. Physical security measures can come in many different types of forms and they will often depend on who or what you are protecting. Some of these measures could be visual deterrence or actually apply different actions of security. Some examples of visual deterrence being used as physical security measures could be a homeowner installing a home security system at the side of their home to help protect them from burglars. Another could be hiring a security guard to stand at the front of your shop or building as they can act as a visual deterrent against thieves. An example of a physical security measure could be a construction site hiring a security guard to patrol their premises to watch out for any suspicious activity. Another could be homeowners or businesses buying secure locks for all of their doors. Within physical security and physical security systems, there are different levels of protection that companies can use to evaluate how effective their security or security systems are within their business. These levels are minimum security. This is where you only have minimum security measures in place. Low level security. This is where you only have small measures of security in place. Medium security. This is where you have some security measures in place, but there is still room for improvement. High level security. This is where you have a lot of good security measures in place. And finally, maximum security, which is when you have the best and most effective security measures in place. It is important that your business has good physical security as it helps to keep your business and anyone employed by your business protected and away from harm. Furthermore, it is important to have good physical security, whether that be for a business or a homeowner, as it allows people to feel more secure and have a better sense of safety. Security guards have been known to be an advantage in physical security, as many business owners will hire security guards to protect their company, as security guards can help to improve physical security in a variety of different sectors. For example, security guards who work in building security will improve the physical security of a building by logging the amount of people who enter and leave a building. Security guards who work in event security will help improve the physical security as they will be responsible for everyone at that event. Security guards can also use their customer service skills to help other employees or to help guests feel more at ease during an event. Security guards who work as bodyguards will be hired to protect high profile people such as celebrities and politicians. These bodyguards will help improve the physical security of these individuals by making sure that no harm comes to them. The main reason why security guards are able to improve the physical security of where they are working is because of a security guard's main responsibility, which is protecting people, buildings, or valuables. Security guards are able to complete this through their tasks and duties. So that's everything about physical security. We hope that this video has been helpful. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos about security. If you can think of any more examples of physical security, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again in the next one.